Hello everyone on YouTube. In today's video, we're going to convert this uh, AC fan into a generator. They say it is 60 watts. How are we going to see there? 60 watts power. Even though the motor looks so, so small. Look at this. So small. Anyway, but because of the design. So let's see once we convert it into a generator if we can be able to power something with a light bulb yeah so also while i'm making this i am going to be responding to some questions i have been receiving in some different videos before right so let's begin here is the motor how it look like inside there we go so we're going to take this out you can see inside here it's only this uh, speed controller <laughs> nothing else just a plastic bucket put it aside and now look to make it even worse look what they did inside because most of the motor we know you see this cover they used to put the covers like this, two of them, side by side. This is what I mean, like, uh, see this one? It will come with first cover right here, like this, and another cover like this here. Okay, that's the most of the motor we know. But this one here, only one back cover, and on front, Let's take it out. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Seriously? <laughs> anyway, that's how they decide to do it. So, this is very interesting. Look at the winding inside. The size is similar to this one, but the windings are different. This is the one which is common in most of the motors, but here they use this design. So, to be honest, even me, I like this design because it's easy. And uh, soon we are going to make one of our own uh, winding. We're going to wind a motor like this using this kind of design. It's not going to be exactly like this, but similar to this. Because this is easy than this kind of design. Okay, so now... As I said, this, they just build it like their own design. So instead of this, we're going to borrow the cover for another motor. Thanks, because it can fit here. And you can see there the hole at the other side, straight. Right, so we're going to use this. So about the middle, this right here, we're going to use this one also. It's a wooden of course but it's going to do a grid all right now i put four poles of magnets and i made them double because this wooden piece was too small so once it go there even with magnets the space was too big but anyway now after i doubled them the space is matching so to secure them i'm going to cover them with uh, the tape all right quickly all right now our four poles magnets are secured now see even what they did inside here there's no screw that you can take it out see so we're not going to use this or so it's like the original is going to be this only and these ones all of them we're going to use for another motor okay but anyway thanks because they can fit properly there we go 
see the back side is fit now this side see that when the space left there is fine okay now finish up with the front this is the top There we go. Now it's time for the screws. All right, everyone. Now our little guy is ready. Now, moment of truth. Let's see if the 60 watts they said uh, we're going to make it right so now let's open up all the wires two hundred and fifty volts AC black is a common which is neutral so let's check with red okay max looks like it's 28 with red all right okay so that means we're gonna go with these two wires black and red all right but now if i was able to make 28 volts with just 100 oh my god we're going to 42 now right well as you saw there that means even when i'm going to use this row i don't have to put uh much because otherwise it will show OL that side which is danger for our multimeter okay so I'm only gonna put these tens one two six six tens right so I'm gonna spin it check that side 49 okay that was too much at least if we can make 100 volts maybe okay this time let's make this uh, oh whoa, 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 whoa. you see I was talking about start getting crazy now so you know what let me just take out this because I know these kind of uh, motors they produce so much power so let's check out with light bulb how much light we are going to have all right now I think this is the best moment I can start responding to some questions as you know i have been making so many videos different sizes of motor so there's other videos example like this one we are saying this is 60 watts okay this project produces 60 watts so there's other questions which used to come like in a small project like this uh can your project or can this project power a drill machine so instead of just responding that's why i decided to do it like this well the answer is no because we are talking about 60 watts right now okay so the drill machine most of the drill machines if it is the small one is about 200 to 250 watts going upwards 500 watts 5000 i mean uh, 1000 watts you know so when it is a project like this the answer it is no that's why i mix when i'm making the project there's other projects if you can scroll down you're going to see some other projects they have big motors i use big motors maybe it's yellow green uh, blue motors if you can go and check those videos those are the motors or the generator that can produce that much power and you're going to see there i used to test the grinder 
maybe the jigsaw those are the videos that can uh, power those uh, tools like grinders jigsaw the drill machine but the project like this this is 60 watts is for light bulb only or maybe like this machine this is 55 watts okay so if you have a fan motor like this then you have to know that the only thing you can power with this project maximum 60 watts like this i don't even know if we're going to power this <laughs> but i'm just saying because they say 60 watts and here we have 55 watts okay so i believe to that question i responded and there's other people used to say no uh doing this is better to buy inverter once i buy inverter then just connect to the battery well i can say that you can do that if you don't want to do this but i recommend this way you better find something like this or bid motor convert it like how we convert it here instead of inverter use this kind of generator why because these ones they are powerful first once you convert a motor to be like this as we're saying it can be 60 watts but once you put the magnets inside see that once you put the magnets inside the watts can change okay, it can be high more than that and what you have to know is that inverter no matter how big it is it has some capacitors inside some ic's inside it can get bent with any small mistake but once you do this project like this connect the motor i know it's going to be expensive but once you build it you're done the only thing you have to change maybe is the solar when it's broken something like that so i recommend this but it's your choice okay those are some questions i wanted to respond okay so instead of just come and respond i decided to do something small so when i am explaining you cannot get bored all right so if you have a big machine that you are going to be powering please focus in those videos i made with a uh, big motors but where you see the small motor like this that's only for the light bulbs and the small tools like these 55 watts anyway now we have